What you're seeing now is a game made in Unreal Engine 5 with just two days. This is the story of how we made it with just three people and two PCs. So the first thing is of course the character movement. We want to have the player in two platforms facing each other. So when they move, they need to look at each other all the time. And this is what we're doing here first. And then what we need to do is to make of course the projectiles the projectiles are just a simple ball that the character will throw. It works, it's not as fancy, but it's the basic idea behind the game. So as long as this works, then we can continue to improve it. So while the programmer is creating the basic mechanics, the art team is creating the environment where we need to have two platforms where the players can face each other and they need to be at distance because they will throw projectiles so just by modeling inside unreal we can create some basic blockout to have an idea of how the space will be so after the blockout is done it's a good idea to just put some materials to take a look at how your environment will look like it's very hard to imagine how the end result will be with only gray meshes so what we need to do is to drag some meshes here from mega scans and play with the mood and the atmosphere and the colors so we can take a look at what the final look will look like potentially after we have something in place we just need to play the game to have a look at what needs to be changed and of course adjust some things like the camera and this kind of stuff so we had the idea of putting the yin and the yang in the platform so we model it and by the way if you are curious about how to model in unreal we have uh, modeling tutorial in our YouTube channel so make sure to check it out but because of our blockout didn't work it's time to play with some mega scans to create the platforms and modifying the original scan using the modeling tools to remove the parts that I don't need and then I just need to play with the mesh and put it in position so I can have a look at how my platform will look like if I use this kind of mesh and then play the game. So now we can take a look at the quick attack versus the slow attacks. The slow ones will be very heavy and do more damage and the quicker ones will be faster but weaker. So now it's time to add some power-ups which are some items that fall from the sky that the player can just pick up. So now we create this cutter attack so when the player picks up a power-up he can upgrade his weak attack. So now when he throws it it will scatter to reach a wider area. So now it's time for set dressing. This part is really fun. We just need to put some assets here and we want to put some crystals, the blue ones and then the red ones to add some contrast in our level and then try to put some clouds and modify it to have some volumetric clouds and then modify the original meshes so that they can fit our platforms while we remove the background we had. So now it's time for some playtesting to try out our new map with our new visual upgrades. So now it's time to add the stamina bar because the player doesn't have HP. The lower the stamina he has, the slower he will move and he will be an easy target. Then continue to play our game to find out we have some bugs. So the last thing we need to do is just to playtest our game and change the values like the missile speed and all these things. And after some hours of work, this is the final result where all the values has been tweaked and also our time has run out we need to finish the game so we will just leave it Kill. as it is prepare to fight <laughs> So if you like this video then subscribe to see more content like this and let us know in the comments which kind of video you would like to watch. If you want to know more about what we do or play this game make sure you visit our website I will leave a link in the description and I will see you in the next one.